feeling cool in comparison to that, but we are still on the warm side. Taking a look out there right now, Omaha sitting at 89, Fremont, Lincoln, Nebraska City, all pushing into the low 90s today. From here, we do have a slow slide in temperatures as the night goes on, so it does get more comfortable as we move to about 6, 7 p.m. We drop back into the mid 80s around the metro and gradually fall into the 70s during the late night overnight hours. Now, starting tomorrow, we're bringing back rain chance. These are going to be pretty hit or miss and on and off, so fairly inconsistent all the way through the start of the weekend. But as we get into the middle of next week, a cold front taking aim at the area, finally cooling us down and sparking a bit and still on the warm side as well. Around Omaha, we're hanging out in the mid 80s. We're just shy of 90 around Fremont and Lincoln, getting a little cooler around Red Oak, dropping into the low 80s. So if your plans are taking you outdoors, maybe you're taking your dog out for a walk, it is getting a little bit more comfortable. It was pretty warm out there earlier this afternoon. We should drop into the upper 70s by the time 9 o'clock rolls around. And from here, turning our attention to a more active pattern. We have on and off really hit or miss storm chances all the way through the start of the weekend and some extreme heat making a return to the forecast after that. We could be challenging some record highs ahead of our next taste of fall weather. I'll let you know just how warm it could get coming up in just a little bit. John? bit too much for you. Eventually a drop back to fall like highs, but we do have to wait quite some time for that to happen. Tomorrow is going. We're starting off Thursday. We're picking this up at about 845 here with some increased cloud cover out across the area. So you'll still notice some breaks of sunshine as you're heading out for the morning commute, but not as much blue sky as what you saw today. As you roll through the day, we're going to stay dry. Temperatures will warm up 89 around the metro 90 for Wahoo mid 80s out over western Iowa and you'll notice by about four isolated showers popping up out to the west of Norfolk, Columbus and York. Those are going to try and make an arrival between about six and nine for points out to the west of the metro and these early storms might be on the stronger side bringing in the threat for some gusty winds and up to one inch hail. That severe threat though tomorrow not going to be a widespread concern and for most we're going to stay storm free until the overnight hours Thursday into Friday around the Metro, that's the case with the potential for isolated thunderstorms after midnight. Our best chances will be before sunrise, but as you move through that Friday morning commute, there might still be an isolated shower out there before it wraps up as we push into the late morning hours and afternoon. So although most of the day tomorrow is going to be completely dry and you might think you might get away with a car wash, I would hold off on it. It's a little bit risky. We're talking about the potential for even more storm chances in the forecast hit or miss as we roll through the start of the weekend. Friday night into Saturday, another round builds through. This will linger into Saturday morning with a break in the afternoon and returning storm chances Saturday evening ahead of a drying trend as we move into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. This is going to be a hot stretch ahead of our next cold front, bringing back some better rain chances. High temperatures Friday down into the mid 80s and then we climb once again 90s.